Militants have launched thousands of missiles from Gaza into one of Israel's strongest defenses, the Iron Dome. The highly sophisticated multi-billion dollar defense system has been under constant redevelopment since it started in the early 2000s. Joining me now is Director of Missile Defense Project, Tom Carrico. Uh, Tom, thanks for joining us. I think a lot of people have been seeing uh, the Iron Dome in action and maybe don't exactly understand what it is. So it's supposed to be one of Israel's strongest defenses, and the IDF says it is intercepting more rockets than ever before. Um, is it possible that too many rockets could be launched? Oh, it's certainly possible. Uh, the Iron Dome is a very capable system. Uh, it's proven its value on many, uh, many times over the years. You know, just in the past, uh, this past weekend, uh, the Hamas folks launched, you know, over 1,000, 2,500 in the first day. It was over 3,000 the next day. And, you know, now they're coming in additionally from the south. And then also, you know, some smaller number from Hezbollah, it sounds like, uh, in the north. But look, uh, Iron Dome has shot down thousands of these things uh, over the years. But can it be overwhelmed? Anything can be overwhelmed. If you concentrate your forces on a particular area, they're trying to defend the whole country. They're trying to defend neighbor, uh, neighborhoods all over the country. And so by definition, uh, it's going to provide great defense, but it's, it's still limited. Yeah, and you know this, the U.S. is stepping up to help Israel and has uh, released additional Iron Dome interceptor missiles, which is so integral to that system. Is there a danger of Israel running out of these missiles? Um, and, and what would that mean for the fight? I mean, they have, they have the U.S. resupplying, but is there any danger they could run out? Well, look, the, uh, the number that the, the United States has that the United States Army acquired uh, a couple years ago as kind of an interim solution is only a couple hundred. Uh, and again, they're up against thousands and thousands of these uh, of these threat missiles. So it's a it's a good uh, way to aid our Israeli uh, friends in their hour of need, but it's still itself limited. Uh, is it possible to run out? Yes, it is. Uh, air defense can't win a conflict for you, but it can uh, hold you off from losing one uh, uh, long enough for your ground forces. And that's really, I think, what's going to happen uh, in this situation for your ground forces to win the war by other means. And so, especially in the South, as you see the ground really counteroffensive uh, going into, uh, into Gaza, you know, it's all going to depend on how well things go there and how quickly. Uh, it's also going to depend upon uh, what the folks in the North and Hezbollah uh, decide to start doing or if they listen to the Council uh, of the United States uh, and others to perhaps try to sit this one out. So, uh, yes, there are uh, Hezbollah, by contrast, has, I think, the estimates about 150,000 uh, rockets uh, in their inventory. That's an estimate. So it could be a very bad day if they decide to get into that uh, and widen the conflict. I guess without giving any real trade secrets away or, or, you know, telling people how it works, I think I think it's fascinating. Just in a, in a real rudimentary way, how does it work? Right. Well, look, uh, Iron Dome, like any air and missile defense system, has a couple basic components. Uh, first and foremost, you've got a, a radar, a sensor of some kind that is essentially surveilling. It's in surveillance mode. It's look, sitting and waiting uh, for some threat to come into its field of view. When it does, it ascertains, hey, is this a, is this a threat? Is this a rocket or is this a Cessna? Uh, and is this coming, uh, if it's a rocket, coming to threaten the area that I'm assigned to protect. If it's going harmlessly into the desert or the sea, they're probably going to let it go. In fact, some of the uh, rockets apparently fell back on Gaza. Uh, but once it gets that and is a threat, then it computes a fire control solution and figures out when it needs to fire uh, an interceptor missile. And then the final step is, of course, the launcher. There's about, I think, 20 uh, iron uh, Tamir interceptors per launcher. Uh, then it would actually launch some of these things. It would fly up come at the threat in just the uh, the right angle and detonate uh, to destroy it. And as I said, they've, they've destroyed quite a lot of these, these things over the years. Yeah, it really is quite something to watch. Um, Tom Carrico with the, the Missile Defense Project. Tom, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.